I want to take you all through an experience. I hope you never had to live yourself. It was about 11 p.m. and I had lost control of my legs. My hands were trembling and I had a shortness of breath. Scared, not understanding what was going on. The first person that I called was my girlfriend who calmed me down from a panic attack that I was having. Not understanding why this was happening to me for the first time. Soon after, I realized that for the first time ever, I had let the stress take control of my life from the lack of my time management. I had always said that if I don't control my time, then I don't control my life. And this is exactly how I was feeling. Have you all ever felt as if you have way too much going on? Maybe to the point that you don't feel like doing anything but maybe watching Netflix or playing video games? Maybe some of you feel that way right now. I want to share with you all a golden idea that has helped me and many other people be continuously successful with their time management. And the idea is this, the lack of time management is truly just a lack of priorities. See, I had to quickly get that concept through my head while I was in high school because my mom always said, you have to get your priorities together. You have to get your priorities together. And I did. See, I went to an early college high school, meaning that one hour I was taking high school classes and then the next I was on a university campus taking college courses. But on top of that, I was still trying to maintain a normal high school life. You know, honor society, sports, job with them all with my friends, and of course, the girls. It was a lot to handle. There is a such thing as way too much to handle, but... A lot of us actually never get that far because we don't know how to manage what we already have going on in our lives. See, today we're going to look at time management like it's a plate of food. When you eat, you don't scarf down your entire plate unless you're Ed from Ed, Ed, and Eddie, which I hope you don't. You eat everything one piece at a time, typically your favorite thing first. That's how we want to think about our time management from here on. So before you count yourself out, let's just see if we can improve on our time management skills. There are many ways for you to be able to tell if you can, but I'm gonna go over three ways today. The first is unable to achieve and set goals. About 99% of goals are attainable. We made it to the moon. But the two reasons why a lot of people don't achieve their goals are these two words consistency and clarity. Number two, procrastination. Yes, we all procrastinate, but there's a huge difference between procrastinating by force and procrastinating by choice. And number three, indecisiveness. Sometimes we spend way too much time trying to decide on a subject, a choice, or destination or anything else, right? That could be hours, days, weeks, months, sometimes even years and all that time wasted, we could have already started our journey. Now, I wanna share with you guys also a quote that my mom gave me that has stuck with me for the rest of my life. And this quote is by Dr. Eric Thomas. The quote says that creating a schedule was the key to my success. So I'm going to give you guys three tips to help you guys create a A1 schedule so you too can have amazing time management. Number one, write down your quarterly goals. Whether you're a student or you're an adult, everybody's performances are measured by quarters. The top 5% of people have all their goals written down so that if anybody sees it, they know exactly what they want. Clarity is so important here. If you aren't clear of what you want, how do you know how to spend your time wisely? Number two, understanding impact. When it comes to impact of your goals, which one of them 
it's going to have the most change to your life. If you were to accomplish this goal today, it's going to change your life for the better. We all have multiple goals that we have on our list, but some of them, let's be honest, they're desires and they're not as important as the others. We want to make sure that we're working on the most impactful. And number three, what are our non-negotiables, daily and weekly? For example, if you're an athlete, you're going to have to make sure that you're practicing and working out five to six days a week. Because when competition comes, you want to make sure that you know your plays and that you're in shape. Or if you want to make sure you have a certain GPA by the end of the year, you want to make sure that you're studying a couple of nights a week, a couple of hours every single day. Because just in case you get that pop quiz or you never know a big test may be coming up, you want to make sure that you're not going to procrastinate and cram right before that test. If you guys follow these three steps every single time, you may realize that you can improve your time management. I promise you will see a huge difference in your productivity and your life. So just remember, if you ever feel as if your time is getting away from you, slow down for a second, write down what your goals are, figure out what's most important, and then understand what do you have to do every single day. If you take these simple steps, you will master your time management. No matter what happens, you will understand the most important thing ever. And that's your priorities. And then on top of that, you have the control over the most important thing that we all have. And that asset is our time. Thank you.